Let's learn more. Let's learn more. Let's learn more with liberty. How many of you have ever flown a kite? As we kite flyers know, sometimes the wind isn't strong enough and the kite falls to the ground. This is because the upward force of the wind isn't enough to keep the kite in the air and gravity pulls it back down to earth. It needs more power. What produces more power? Something that you see powering things like cars and buses every day, an engine. Now, think about the airplanes you see today. They all have engines. These engines help airplanes stay in the air and fly long distances. Now, there are big airplanes and small airplanes. They all don't need the same size of engine because they do not weigh the same. Some planes have engines with propellers, some have jet engines, and some have huge turbojet engines that are taller than a basketball goal. Small planes like the ones that are used by farmers to take care of their crops are smaller and use propeller engines. And bigger planes like the ones you most often see in the sky carry people or transport mail and packages. These bigger planes use jet engines. Orville and Wilbur Wright were smart and knew they needed an engine for their airplane to fly. They knew it couldn't be too heavy since their airplane was very small and lightweight. The engine they built was 180 pounds, about the average weight of a grown-up. After some time testing it in their shop, they attached it to their plane and it powered four flights at Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. Regardless of the size of the airplane, engine power is key to keeping planes in the air so they can fly from place to place and reach specific heights.